Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video all about my extensions. Um, this is probably one of my most requested videos, so I thought it was about time that I would do a video just kind of explaining the kind of extensions I use, um, how I take care of them, how often I get new ones, um, and just to sort of give you guys a look into what my everyday kind of routine is when I'm putting them in. To start off, I've had extensions for, I want to say, six or seven years. I've had them a really, really long time. And the reason is, is because my hair doesn't normally grow very well. Um, the longest I think it's been is like maybe to here. Um, I don't really know why. My mom has really long hair, but my hair kind of just refuses to grow. So I got extensions for the first time, not that I needed them, and then I've kind of just like stuck with them ever since because I love having this type of long hair. Um, the extensions that I have in now are 22 inches, if you're wondering. Throughout my videos, the lengths have changed, but I'm usually somewhere in between 20 to 22 inches in most of my videos um, for my hair length. Since uh, dyeing my hair, I've also obviously lost a lot of length because um, bleaching your hair is not very good so your hair obviously becomes a little bit weaker you're more prone to things like breakage and that's also a huge thing about having extensions when you're having um, abnormal hair color my hair is almost um, black like it's it's really really dark so it's obviously a lot when I'm um, bleaching it so um, that's also another reason that I've kind of chosen to wear extensions so yeah if you guys are interested in the extensions that I'm wearing right now stay tuned I'm gonna show you how I put them in and all that love Lovely stuff. Okay, so basically to get started, um, the extensions that I'm wearing are by a brand called Luxury for Princess. So how it usually works is uh, your extensions come in this side of the package and then your tester comes in this side of the package. And basically what you do is you open up the tester um, and it shows you, you can touch it, you can feel it, um, you can wash it, you can do whatever you want to it, it's yours. And then you just, basically if it's the wrong color, like if it doesn't match your hair or whatever, then you can send back the unopened package of extensions back to them and then you, obviously you can get your color that matches. If you open the other side of the extension, obviously your warranty is void and you won't be able to send them back. So it, they give you that option of testing them out, making sure they're the right color, making sure that they are the length that you want um, before you kind of commit to the whole package. So like I said, the ones that I'm wearing are from the Luxury for Princess brand. A couple things about these is that this is a 10 piece set. The length is 22 inches and I'll be showing you guys the pieces as I'm putting them in and you can see how long they are. These are the Princess Super Deluxe. They are 220 grams. The color number is 60 and they are lightest ash blonde. I will leave all the links down below so that you can find these extensions if these are the ones you want. Obviously they come in um, a large variety of colors. They also go for 144 euros and I've calculated that into Canadian dollars and it comes to $220 Canadian. When I was buying my hair extensions just from a store at home, I would think I was spending um, close to $200 and they were nowhere near this thick. These are the nicest hair extensions that I have ever owned and have ever used. They're the thickest. They're thick from root to tip, which a lot of hair extensions aren't. There are three things that I would look for when looking for hair extensions. Number one is hair quality. You want your hair extensions to be 100% human Remy hair. If they aren't, you basically can't do a lot of things like curling, straightening, dyeing. Um, curling and straightening are obviously two things that I need to have, so that's why I choose Remy hair. If you weren't going to do something like that, you could just potentially get fake hair, which is obviously a lot cheaper, but you wouldn't be able to curl and do all that kind of stuff. But if your hair is straight, then, you know, that's something you could do. Also for dyeing, because um, my hair is always being dyed, I'm always putting different colors in it, um, I need it to take to the dye, so that's also a reason that I choose 100% Remy hair extensions, which is what these ones are in my hair. Also, when it comes to hair quality, I think about hair thickness. Um, if a brand tells you how much they weigh, usually that is a good sign. 220 grams is obviously um, a little bit thick, but that's what I like, and I think that it looks natural if your hair is that thick. But um, if you have really thin hair, then you might want to go for something a little lighter. The second thing I look for is clip quality. I'm about to show you two different kinds of clips. So I've just shown you two different kinds of clips. This is the first one I showed you. Um, this is a plastic type metal clip. It's not very good. Um, this clip also is so big in comparison to 
this clip, um, I've noticed that these ones are really hard to hide in your hair. Um, they don't seem to snap to your hair as well. I think it's something to do with like how they end right there. I don't know. Really don't like these kinds of clips. The next kind of clip is more of a strict, this is like a heavy duty metal one. It's also smaller. Um, it clips into your hair more. So that's definitely something you want to look for um, in your hair clips. Um, something that's metal, something that's sturdy. When these are in your hair, um, this does not feel like it's going to fall out. And they also um, secure to your head really nicely. So I don't feel like you can see them when they're in my hair. This is the lightest ash blonde color also that I originally got. And I toned them to be this color. So you can just see there's a little bit of a difference there. If you're interested on how to tone your extensions, um, I'll put the link down below to how I tone hair um, and then you can see that. So this is the color, the lightest ash blonde color that it comes like. The last thing I look for when I'm looking for good hair extensions is price. Um, now $220 Canadian I think is a great price. If you put that into your hair extensions, that's what you're going to get out. So if you're paying something that's really cheap, you're probably going to get thin hair extensions. Maybe um, they're not 100% human hair. You really need to put money in if you want them to last a long time because it's hair. So now if you guys are interested, I'm going to show you how I put my hair extensions in. You'll notice that my hair is really short without hair extensions, but I've been wearing them for about six years, so I've kind of learned the tricks and how to hide them, how to not have them be showing all the time um, to other people. So if you guys are interested in how I put in my hair extensions, keep watching. how I get this look. A um, couple more things I wanted to add is uh, you'll notice that I didn't use the one inch clips and that's just because I really enjoy having the bigger ones at the side because then when you turn you don't have this like empty open space where if you had just the singles sometimes it like leaves an open space where you can kind of tell that there are two singles in there. Also because my hair tends to be really really short um, I usually don't curl my regular hair. It usually, because I like this look, I like how it just like starts off um, kind of really soft. Um, so I, yeah, I don't usually curl my my own hair. I tend to just curl the extensions. If these extensions were just dried and they were wet, then I would just curl them and I would start from the back and I would curl these curls. I would curl around a curling iron to this side. And then this side, I would curl obviously to the other side. And that's how I get this look, and then I just brush them out. So it's very, very simple. It's how everyone curls their hair. And I tend to not curl up here because um, if I do curl, you can kind of tell where my hair is. And so I like to keep that straight, and then it just blends in nicely with my extensions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget you can just leave a question down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and also, feel free to hit subscribe. All my links to my social media are down below. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!